In this video, I am going to talk about permanent makeup correction, especially on eyebrows. Have you ever wondered if you could cover up or erase an old eyebrow tattoo? Well, I'm here to tell you that you do have options. You are not stuck with that old eyebrow tattoo. Hi everyone, this is Julia from Pigmenta Perna Cosmetics and welcome to my channel. The number one place for permanent makeup education, science, and inspiration. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button below, hit the bell, and turn on your notifications. Everything I mentioned in this video can be found linked in the description box below. So let's get started. So what we see in our clinics is that about 30% of our clientele have already been touched by another technician, and they are either not happy with the shape, color, or size of the eyebrow. Now, if your shape is desirable, but your color is faded into a green, blue, purple, or red hue, there is a technique we can cover up the old tattoo. First, a corrective color is tattooed over the faded permanent makeup to neutralize it. Now, color theory is color theory. Whether you're coloring hair, you're painting a picture, you're painting a wall, it's all the same. One of my favorite examples is the red wall. Now, if you wanted to paint this red wall white and you just go over with the white paint, what will happen? Well, eventually the red will push through. So what do you have to do? You have to use a primer. So our corrective color is like a primer. So let's say you have someone whose eyebrows have faded red over time. Now, this is a topic all by itself, and I will mention that in another video because red eyebrows is not always the technician's fault. Sometimes it has to do with lifestyle. Going to the department store, I'm sure you have seen that green foundation. And you've always wondered, well, why would I put green foundation on myself? Now, if you have someone who has a red undertone, then you would use the green to neutralize it, and then you would put the foundation over. So that's the same principle. If you have red eyebrows, you will need to use a green to cover it up first and then you can use a regular eyebrow color over it. It will literally neutralize the area. So how about green or blue eyebrows? No problem. We will use an orange or red to neutralize that. Let's look at a color wheel. As you can see, colors opposite the spectrum cancel each other out, as it is in the case of green and red, blue and orange, and purple and yellow. So once the correction color is tattooed into the skin, you have two choices. You can either just leave it be and let it heal and it will be neutralized. However, there might be some residual color left on the eyebrows. Now, number two, you have the choice to actually tattoo a new set of eyebrows over. And that's what most people do because they had problems with the eyebrows to begin with. And that's why they had it done in the first place, right? At this point, the technician can either do microblading, ombre, powder, all will work very, very well on the neutralized area. Now, what about the technicians who just want to cover up the old color with a new set of eyebrows without really correcting it? You can most certainly do that, but uh, let me remind you again about color theory. Color doesn't cover color. Now, what do I mean by that? When I was a child and I wanted to try out different crayons, I would just put one color on the paper first and then I would put other colors over it and then I would, oh no, this is not the right color, so I'm going to try it out even more. So all it became was just one muddy mess in the end and that's what's going to happen to your skin as well. So generally speaking, in my professional opinion, it is not a good idea to just cover it with another set of eyebrows because it's just a band-aid and then the old color will push back through no matter what. How about covering it with skin camouflage color? Sure, again, you can do that, but I would not recommend it because skin camouflage color, now if you have hair, maybe you can get away with it, but if you don't have hair or you have very sparse hairs on the eyebrows, what will end up happening is that's all you see. You will see the camouflage color. This is really reserved for someone very, very experienced. And even though I've been doing this for 30 years and we correct at least five cases a week, I reserve that camouflage color or camouflage skin color only for the worst of the worst cases 
where I can't pull out the color or I can't neutralize the color. And maybe in that instant, I will do that. If you have just black solid eyebrows, you are not a candidate for correction. That would be a removal. And I will talk about that in another video. My suggestion is to always talk to your technician first. He or she might have a solution for you. He or she might tweak the color a little bit and then all is good. But if um, they don't have the skill or you just simply want to try someone else or they moved, you moved away, they moved away, they're no longer in business and you just need some help, then you would do your research. So there are a couple of things that I want to talk to you about in terms of finding the right person. Number one, find a technician who has extensive training in color correction. If I had a bad color job on my hair, I would probably not go to someone who has just graduated from hairdressing school. So same here. You want to find someone who has had experience with it and knows what they're talking about. Number two, the technician should be able to explain all your undertones and how it will work with the corrective color. Number three, if your technician is all too eager to get their hands on you and telling you that they can just cover it up with another brow color, then think again. Remember, color doesn't cover color. Number four, be realistic about the outcome. When I get a color corrective client, I always ask for their patience. This will take some time. It might take multiple procedures for me to correct the color. And I always make sure that I inform them upfront about it so they know what to expect. The outcome, if you understand the steps, can be very beautiful. And you can end up with the eyebrows that you always desired. Five, a lot of technicians will not want the responsibility or liability of tattooing over someone else's work. So in that case, be patient continue your research, you will eventually find that experienced technician who can help you. Six, make sure that your technician has plenty of before and after correction work pictures for you to look at. If you want to learn more about this and other topics, please visit us at pigmentausa.com. There are a lot of tools for you as a client, but also if you are a technician and you want to learn more about color correction, you can always book a online coaching session with me and that's via video chat. I would love to hear from you. Tell me in the comments below. I will upload a new video every Tuesday and I will talk to you soon.